So, you wanted to see me? Yes, I have just one question. Greetings, and welcome to Tower of Fantasy. I'm not going to be... This isn't a Let's Play. I'm only going to be talking about the game and showing the game off kind of at the same time. I told myself when I uh, decided to do this, I need to write a... Uh, Right, get my thoughts of the game down on paper, and so I have some, so I can talk about them legibly. But uh, I didn't do that. I had a bunch of stuff to do today, and it kind of, uh, I kind of forgot. So I'm just gonna be talking about things as I think of them. So if uh, it kind of sounds like I'm rambling, that's why, and I apologize in advance. So what is Tower of Fantasy? Basically, from what I understand of it, or for playing it from for a couple of gay days, um, it is basically just Genshin Impact. It's got like a more sci-fi feel than Genshin Impact does. It's definitely less uh, Chinesey from the way that it uh, is presented. A lot of the names don't have the uh, like Korean uh, like name design to them. If I can, okay, here we go. Let me uh, switch weapons real quick so I can deal with this guy's shield. But uh, there, you can choose. You, you can create your own character. You know, design them however you want. And then there's like a whole bunch of other characters uh, you can play. But unlike in Genshin Impact and Tower of Fantasy, you don't have to switch to other characters to play the different weapon types, types and different play styles. Your character can equip whatever weapon you come across. Uh, and while it will look like some weapons have a t character attached to them, like if I, uh, if I go in my weapons category, uh, like this, uh, spear has this girl, uh, attached to it, and this staff has this girl attached to it, and then this dagger doesn't have anybody attached to it from what you can tell, it's because it's like a basic weapon. If I switch over to Simulacra, like, these characters, I have them unlocked here, and I can switch to them. If I so choose, but uh, you know me. I've, if I can't play my own characters, I don't want to play. <laughs> so that's just my, uh, that's just me being a role player. But yeah, uh, this got the game is very similar to Genshin Impact, but it has some things in it that it are better, I think, than Genshin Impact. I actually stopped playing Genshin Impact uh, shortly after I started playing it, just because. It kind of felt like the game wants you to play characters other than like the ones you the one you made. Whereas in this game, I don't feel the game is like the game is pressuring me to play other characters. That said, it still in the sense of it being much like Genshin Impact, there's a lot of like gacha stuff involved. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's time gated. In fact, if I show you my quests. The current story, I have to wait four hours before I can start playing more of it. And I don't think Genshin Impact did this, but I think it's, it's probably a side effect of this being a fairly new game. But like the level cap for your character goes up by three every every day. So like the uh, so like you're kind of got time. I don't really see that as in the level cap going up. I see that more of like being time gated as to like your how strong you can get, like, they, they don't want you get to getting too strong too fast or something like that, but, I mean, leveling up is really only one aspect of, uh, getting stronger, and then you, uh, see here, you also have stuff like, uh, all sorts of different gifts you can claim all the time, it's kind of like Diablo Immortal in that aspect, uh, like this here, like, you see this red dot over the shop icon, that makes you think that there's something new there, right, but if I actually go and click on it, well, okay, there is uh, some new stuff in there now, or so it looks. Yeah, in fact, I got a daily reward to claim. But uh, the fact of it is, is that while you're playing, the shop will kind of have that red dot on it, and you can click on it and have and see no red anywhere. And it's really 
just the game telling you to buy it, reminding you that the shop is there, and because you know the guy, people that made the game, this game want you to spend money. Because like, if nobody spends money on this game, what was the point of making the game? And I, I get that to an extent, but it's also kind of predatory the way they're doing it. Also, uh, there's crews like there's there's they've already got like a team system set up, and I'm in a crew with a whole bunch of like. Fantasy, like NGS creators. You got a uh, non pine here. You got Karopi. Uh, Skulls was here, but she this this crew got full, so she left to create a sister crew, I guess, which is like just more of the same, or supposed to be. Rep Rappy's here, and I know Chrono was here. He talked about wanting to move to the second crew to help Skulls out, so he may have done that already. I'm not sure. But there's also a lot of people here that aren't uh, Fantasy Star, like NGS creators, as far as I know. Uh, then again, I don't really know very many of them, so there's that. Yeah, okay, Chrono's still in here, so that's good. I mean, yeah. There's even somebody going around here ro ro cosplaying as P Fantasy Star of players. There's a Kuna here. I saw on Twitter that somebody made a toy in Tower of Fantasy. I don't really have a reason for bringing this up, I guess. I just, I just wanted to bring that up. Uh, but yeah, there is a story to it, and if you want to experience the story for yourself, I do have to say, don't read too much into the loading screens, because for me personally, for what for me and for other people who are like very who can tell what one plus one equals you know it's very easy to see like the loading screens as spoiler material like there's this I'm, I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want to give any spoilers myself but I it, I personally feel like the loading screens in particular are like really spoilery and it doesn't help that, that I think there was one of the uh gotchas that actually got into that as well but yeah there's uh, there's uh, as 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 you do with got with gotcha games there's also a bunch of different ways uh hang on a second let me pull this thing so it doesn't attack me there's also a bunch of different ways you can uh improve yourself like there's multiple different like progression paths here than that and i would be a lie to say that they are also somewhat gotcha y as well although i don't think most of them you don't get from the materials for you don't get from gotchas okay where did all these dudes come from maybe i should just go ahead and get a fight over and then cut ahead or something I guess this is a good enough time to feel, talk about the combat though, since I'm doing combat. Combat does feel kind of okay. I I know for a fact that there's a different uh, dual, pair of dual wielded swords in the game, but I've only ever come across this, and I think this is probably more like twin daggers than dual than dual swords or soaring blades. If you're a fantasy star -like nerd like me, <laughs> I know that's not important. I'm not really going to go into how the combat works either because it's kind of easy to pick up if by through just playing the game, you know? But there's, you know, there's swords, there's spears, there's hammers, there's like, there's staves, you, got, you got different kinds of magic staffs you can use. There's definitely a plentiful variety of weapons and I don't think there's any kind of class system like an NGS or you uh, only like, only certain classes can use certain weapons over. I'm pretty sure you're free to use whatever weapon you like. Although, there is, like, there is, like, certain things you want to look out for when it comes to weapons. But I'm not here to give guides or anything. So, I'm not going to go too much into it. You, you can figure it out from playing. There's also cooking, which I'm pretty sure is a direct ripoff of it, of uh, Genshin Impact. Almost said NGS there, but no. No, it's very different from that. You also have like limited dodges that aren't based on stamina but have their own meter. I I would even say there's bits and pieces of this that feels like it came from Breath of the Wild more than stuff that from Engine Impact Engine Impact came from Breath of the Wild. But it's not really that big a deal, but you have a lot of time gated stuff as is as you do with the gotcha games like the story mode. There's also these uh, certain types of chests that are time locked. 
and um, you know, on top of like level cap being time locked as well so you do have to be careful for that and of course the most important thing to consider with gacha games be careful how much money you spend on these things because it is not worth it you can 100 percent play this game free to play and i know people in my crew that do that so don't feel like you have to spend money on anything hey i, I just hit the cap for the day so hey but, uh, you know, in a couple, in like four hours or so, that cap will go up, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Now, I was talking about different methods of, what's this? Okay, I'll fill that out later, that's new. There's different ways to, like, up upgrade your character, like different passive progressions. For, like, one, you've got the, your suppressor, like... You can upgrade, it's basically kind of level capped, although later on it's more like battle score capped because it's if it's a gacha, of course it has one of those. Um, but there's also a couple other ways. Let me go ahead and upgrade this one real quick because I have the materials for it. There we go. Yep, you see you get stats up from it. There's not, you can level your weapons up and you can put uh, gear on your weapons. Let's, let me see here. Go to warehouse. Click on my yeah. Click on this. Go to matrices, and you can see I've got four different kind of computer chips attached to this staff, and to this uh, to my dual blades, and to uh, like all the we all the weapons I have equipped. Um, let's back up. And then there's also um, if I can find it. Come on. There's also. Uh, equipment like armors and stuff to put on your character as well although it's kind of hard to get those you have to do like a certain mission and it's not really guaranteed uh, that you're going to get one of those things you know because uh, MMO RNG you know you know how it is so I, the main reason I wanted to make a video on this because the name Tower of Fantasy kind of spoke to me as a guy that really likes like MMO based anime uh, shows but I'm kind of dis I have to say I'm kind of disappointed because this ended up being just another Genshin Impact or from the feel of it like most of it It does have its own story and I do appreciate that it's more side sci 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 by faced I mean, I usually appreciate Fantasy more than sci-fi, but between NGS and this I just, mm, I don't know about that anymore. I might be accumulating a taste for the both although uh, Genshin was a little too Chinese for my taste I'm um, I wasn't really feeling it. That's, I'm not. No, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just not for me. But yeah, you've got a whole on top of like a bunch of different progression paths and the capture stuff. You also have a bunch of different like resources for opening chests and all sorts of other things. And even for like the upgrades, have their own um, resources and. Also, because of course it does, the gaps, the gacha have their own resources as well. So yeah. So basically, how I feel about this game, I really don't see. I really don't praise it too well, just because it's another Genshin. It's just another money grabber. I'm not really that into into it. That said, the, the way you said it's better than Genshin Impact is basically what have kept me in the game for this long. Um, this is like my third night of playing it, I think. Maybe my second. But I feel like if this was even... I don't know. I feel like I should have given up on this game by now. Like, I feel like the second I realized it was, in a, it was, a, it was a game like Genshin Impact, I should have given up on it. But I'm actually kind of into it, weirdly. Despite the fact that I look down on it for being just another gacha game. I'm actually kind of in. I'm actually kind of feeling it. Uh, one more thing I did want to talk about that I thought was really cool. Um, the game's kind of mascot, I think. You see, in the lore, they have these, uh, robots called Smart Servants, I think, that they're called. And there's a bunch of them all throughout the story. Of these little dudes that, uh, are all, like, meant to be helping people. They're like, these tiny little robot people, right? The main, the one that you, that follows you around in the story... Uh, the Paimon replacement, which is what I thought of when I first saw it, which I don't really see that now because she's not, she doesn't show up as much and not as talkative, but think Toddler Castile if you play NGS, and think, uh, think about how cute that would be, 
that's the main that's the uh that's the mask that's this game's mascot <laughs> uh i'm not gonna go to actually hang on a sec i think i know of a way for me to actually show you what she looks like kind of uh let me see here recommended no select no okay, i thought it was in here Oh, it, it actually is, but I've already completed it. Oh, it, it let me go there here anyway. It let me go into it. Uh, this is the game's mascot character, I think. I could be wrong about that. The mascot character could actually be uh, the person that saves your life in the main game, just judging by like the loading screens. But this, this definitely looks like it could be a mascot character. And even for the smart servants that look human, because some of them don't, you can kind of tell that that's what they're supposed to be when you see their mouse moves because their mouth moves like a like a component is opening in a device <laughs> which is really only noticeable if they're talking this isn't the, her main character this is her main outfit by the way this is just what she wears for this uh, particular segment you can get bus for using a uh, tasting uh, units which regenerate on the moment you can't like find them or anything but I have used all mine up I think they regenerate daily, maybe? Yeah, every day after 5, 12, and 18, Wanderers receive a chance to taste the food Mia has cooked. Give some powerful buffs away. And yeah, it's me dash A, not just Mia, like it says to me in here, but that's not really important. At any rate, I don't know if I can recommend this game because it's just more Genshin Impact. It's just, you know, it's kind of predatory in the way it's set up. It's not as bad as Diablo Immortal, so, you know, round of applause for that. <laughs> but, um, it is kind of predatory, so I can't, I don't know if I can recommend it. If you like Genshin Impact, you will love this game. So if you play Genshin Impact, play this game. You will enjoy it. You may even enjoy it more than uh, Genshin Impact, like I did. But then again, I wasn't much forward to Genshin Impact, so, you know. <laughs> um, I'm more, I more think... The main thing that I think this game does better than Genshin Impact is freedom. Like, you don't... You're not... When I play Genshin... I've already said this, but I've, when I played Genshin Impact, I felt like the game was pressuring me to play characters other than one I, one I, which I made, which flies in the face of what I value as a role player. But um, this game, you have the option to play as other characters, and really all they are is just skins. If I go here, I click on Simulacra... That's really all that they are. They're, they're just skins of characters that over go over your main character with the, the, their weapon of choice, like, equipped already, all the way. And I think there's more than this? Yeah, there is. There's, uh, quite a bit more. Wow. And you have an option to use their trait, whatever that means. But, their game, it doesn't feel like the, you, the it, it does not feel like the game is pressuring you to play them, because you don't, like the characters they do get because they do appear in like drops from Gacha, but it's it's like you're getting their weapon and not the character themselves. It's like it's like you're getting the character's weapon and then the character skin in one drop, but it's not, it doesn't feel like it's the character themselves that you're playing as. Then again, I haven't tried them at all, so they may have their own voice lines and such. Also, one gripe about this game, I really wish they had you had the option to cho choose between t voice tiles for your main character. I felt this a little bit with Tarashi because he sounds like a like a teenage boy when he talks, which I think is the point. But if I can get like a close up right here, let me press C now. Does this look like a teenage boy to you? <laughs> I gave him like a very mature looking face, and then I heard him talk, and I was like, "Oh, well, that doesn't match at all." And it was even worse when I created Keiko because, of course, I did. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, I would say if that's one thing I would like to see in this game, it's the ability to choose different voice packs for your for your created character. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about the story because I don't want to spoil anything. And it's not really anything that major. It feels like it has a bit more substance than Jinji's story, but that's really not saying much. <laughs> also, um, I feel a little bit under... There's like this main thread going on of what your character is trying to accomplish, and judging by the uh, the loading screens, my first impression 
was that the girl that saved your life at the beginning before you get to actually change your character's looks uh, it kind of seems like she's going to become a villain which I am very much not about because okay I'm going to have to admit that part of this is because I'm a dude but I kind of wanted to <laughs> I kind of wanted to protect her I, I, I kind of had that same feeling from a Tori in PSO2 I'm going to shut up right there and we're going to call this here if you got this point in the video it means the world to me as it always does I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one. Farewell. Seriously though, don't throw all your money away on garbage games like this.